Hey YouTube, welcome to February 1st, 2017. So January has been a rough month for me for lots of reasons, but I want to talk about one thing and that is negativity. So the month of January was tough for one reason because of all of the negativity that's just been in my life. And I would say that the number one culprit of that has been Facebook and other social media sources. There are lots of difficult and negative things that I've seen in my Facebook feed. A lot of those things are political, um, bad things that have happened. I don't want to talk about either side, and really I don't ever want to talk about them, especially on YouTube. It's hard for me to see how people are treating each other. Um, on different sides of issues, on both sides of issues. Man, this is hard. It's been very difficult for me to see how negative people have been and how mean people have been on different social media platforms, especially Facebook. People are calling each other bad names, treating each other like the scum of the earth, and it just isn't right. Over the last few days, I've had some time to reflect on this and reflect about how we should treat others who are here with us. So that is why for this month of February, especially, I'm gonna make a very conscious effort to be completely positive the entire month. No negativity. This means that I will only be posting positive things on my Facebook, on my Instagram, on Twitter, on our website, liveinsouthamerica.com. I just don't wanna be a source of negativity for people in the world, um, for you guys. I think you probably get enough of that as is. So for the month of February, I will be posting positive things every day, I promise. Why is this important? Why isn't it important? Really, we should be positive every day and it is important that we become informed about important issues, but for now, I will not be the source of that information for you. But I will be a source of positivity every day. You can look through my Facebook feed, through my Instagram, and you'll see that there's gonna be something positive for you every day of this month especially here on the vlog. I plan to be very positive with our travels and whatnot, and maybe I'll share a sad story that happens to us, but there will always be a positive message in everything I share. So that's how I wanted to start this vlog. It's not gonna be a long vlog, just me talking a little bit, but I wanna talk about three things. First is this month of positivity. Hashtag be positive, hashtag positivity month, hashtag month of positivity. The second thing I want to talk about is my new fitness goal for February, which you can see here. Okay, so why am I doing this? Hold on, I'm gonna get my microphone. Okay, so why am I doing this? Well, I'm just not happy with the way I'm feeling physically. I feel like I've gotten into a habit of not being active at all. We live right now at 8,000 feet elevation which kicks my trash every time I go walking. And I've been really good for the last three months about getting out and walking. Like I, on average, walk four miles a day. But I'm just not happy with the way I've been feeling physically. So I've been trying to eat a little better and also I want to just be more active. And I don't feel comfortable setting a physical goal for myself right now that's like, I'm going to work out for two hours every day, or even I'm going to work out for an hour every day because some days I don't know what's going to happen. Um, I don't know if I'll get busy with something, which is a lame excuse, but it is my excuse. But what I do feel comfortable doing is saying I'm going to do 100 push-ups and 200 sit-ups every single day because no matter where we are in the world or what we're doing, I can do 100 push-ups and 200 sit-ups. I thought about doing a running goal of a mile a day but I figured and realized that sometimes we travel all day long and running a mile isn't really feasible, um, especially in areas that I don't know or in airports. There's a day coming up that we're going to be in the airport all day long, like 20 hours. So I just don't think it's feasible to have that goal of having one mile a day. But 100 push-ups and 200 sit-ups are doable. And I don't have to do them all in one sitting. I just need to make sure I do those throughout the day. So definitely doable and just a way to kind of kickstart my activity. Especially if I do it in the morning, I feel like it will um, help my day be better and I'll just feel better during the day. 
Plus, I'd like to work on my muscles a little bit. Okay, back at it. Also, right now, I definitely can't do 100 push-ups in a row. In retrospect, 200 sit-ups is a lot harder than 100 push-ups. Just so you're aware. What am I doing? So, let me catch my breath. A couple things I've realized. One, one thing I've realized, I'm pretty dang weak right now. That was exhausting, and it really shouldn't have been. I only did 100 sit-ups. One, because I was exhausted, and two, because my tailbone started hurting. The other thing I realized, oh, those are both things I realized. Really odd shape, 200 sit-ups might be too much. So, I'm going to amend my original plan, and I'm either gonna do 100 sit-ups, or 200 crunches. This will allow me if my tailbone or whatever it is on my back starts hurting, then I can do sit up or do crunches instead. So there's my fitness plan for February. It's not anything crazy, except for it was crazy hard for me tonight. It's something doable and it's something to kickstart my day and make sure I'm being at least a little bit active every day besides just walking. Thanks guys. So I've been pretty lazy in the recent past and I want to fix that even if it's just a little bit. So that's why I set these goals. The third thing I want to talk about, which is probably the most fun thing that I want to talk about, to kick off this month of positivity and just because we've been wanting to do it for a while, we are going to be doing a giveaway! Okay, so we've met this guy here in Cuenca and we saw him like our first weeks here and we haven't seen him since. But yesterday, we saw him again, or wait, when was it? But Monday, we saw him again. And this is an old man who we just seen on a street corner who always is selling something. And the thing that we've seen that we like the most that he sells, and something that we've seen other friends here in Cuenca have that have bought them from him, are these really cool painted sticks. I know it sounds really weird, but they are really cool. And we wanna share them with you guys. So these are stickmen that our friend don't know his name. I'm gonna find out for you. But these are stickmen that our friend paints. I don't even know if I can call him our friend, but we bought these from him, so I'm sure he'd count us as friends. These guys are awesome. They are painted just like people. Um, sometimes they have a third leg here to help them stand up. We didn't get any that are like that, so they're all children friendly. Um, but this guy, for example, has an extra long arm that allows him to stand up. My hand isn't very flat, but basically he can stand up on his own. This one we're actually keeping because we like it so much, but we have three other stick men to share with you. Here's one of them, Mr. Pinocchio Nose, and with a big boot foot. This guy does have a third leg, but it is in an appropriate spot at the kneecap. He's wearing underwear and then also pants on his third leg over here. And then the third one has an extra little long foot hanging off here so he can stand up on his own. We wanted to support the local artists and this guy is an old guy um, and definitely could use the financial help. So that's why we purchased these from him and we've been wanting to do a giveaway and share with you guys. So it's gonna be really easy for you to win these. All you have to do, first off, you need to subscribe to this page right here below. Just click subscribe. Second thing, go to Instagram. I'll have links below and you just need to like or follow three pages. One is my page, Aaron Funk. One is Kaylee's page, Kaylee Funk. And the third one is live in South America. That's all you have to do. Um, by doing that, you'll be entered into the contest. We'll make sure that the three winners will have completed with those three things. Super easy to do. We'll leave links so it's super easy to, to follow. And then you could win one of these guys and you will be getting it in March. Pretty sure in March. If you want one of these cool pieces of art from Ecuador, all you have to do is follow us and uh, you'll be entered in. 
I'm super sorry for this really talky vlog. We didn't really go out much today. We came back from Guayaquil. I didn't do a vlog about Guayaquil because we really didn't do much there. We went to our church's temple. If you're interested in that at all, I'll leave a link below as well. So I didn't record anything there, but we had a great time, except for this morning. We came on a bus back and our bus broke down, but it was a fiasco. But we made it back in time for dinner with some friends to celebrate a friend's birthday. But we'll be back in the next few days because we have lots going on. We only have a week left here in Cuenca before we leave the city, go visit a little bit of Ecuador before we go to Costa Rica. We'll be in Costa Rica for a week, and then we'll be in Nicaragua for three months. So stay tuned. All right, guys, thank you so much for being here and watching this vlog. Um, remember to subscribe below, go to our Instagrams, follow those, and you can win one of the painted stick men. All right, have a great night, guys. We'll see you later. Bye.